Welcome back to the channel, and we're going to play the first ever published from Finley, and it is Broomfield Heath, which was built on my plot, which I am stoked to play. Uh, and it's got a five star rating, not even by me. Uh, let's go with medium winds from north, and let's give this a go. So, um, Finley was a guy that we took a punt on as captain. So we went through all the people who signed up and kind of worked out who we, th like the guys who were kind of on the cusp, we kind of worked out who we wanted to take a punt on. Um, and it was very much a, like, he shared some work in progress files with us. So we had a little poke around those. And we also saw kind of, hey, Matty, some screenshots of stuff he'd been working on. And he was one of those guys who, had he actually hit the publish button, would have a ton of tour where these to his name but just never got around to actually pressing that button. And we didn't think that should count against him. Um, so we kind of basically took him on and said, we will have you if you promise that you will publish and put something out. And he got Matty's team, and I think Matty was like a perfect mentor for him. Um, Clubhouse is very understated, works nicely. Um, we like that. And yeah, Matty, very much perfect mentor for him and just kind of walked through a load of stuff, I think, with him and... Right. Yeah, I'm excited to play this one. So, my one was this Heathland plot where obviously you're all going to find exactly the same holes everywhere, so that's why all five courses look exactly the same. Because um, you couldn't move that many trees. Um, there were some in awkward areas. It was kind of awkward lengths, etc. And yeah, everyone's found different holes, so maybe we're all right. Um, okay, so one went up this way, which I don't think anyone had done yet if memory serves. People came back down that way quite commonly. Okay, and then we shoot around. And yeah, I kind of, like, we were just talking about Pithies, how Pithies probably has the greatest variety of all the plots in terms of visuals. This was always going to have the greatest similarity because I kind of wanted to see, like, I went with uh, what have the other captains not done on their plots once my original one I thought was too severe and then went this route. And I thought this would produce some fun golf. It seems to have done so, so far. And we haven't had that many Heathland courses recently. Oh, it's not updated the title. Sorry, I'll change that. So, yeah. There's not that much to look at, other than that there's loads of heather and it looks gorgeous. So, yeah. We're going to give this a play and very excited to do so. Um, the, it looks great. Bunkering looks really good. I appreciate that you've taken time to put... I think fairway into the bunkers or you've done light rough. It's hard to tell. Either way, if it's light rough, then sensible choice of light rough texture. Okay, first hole. So climbing path four. There's a lot of elevation covered. Heathen planting does suck, yes. It's really hard to get right. And like it just doesn't render as well as you'd want it to. And so like I understand all of these things. Okay, we're just going to hit to the heart of the fairway and then we're hitting over this mound because we've gone too far that way. Okay, I like the green contouring. It's subtle. I, I like that you've gone for clumps of heather rather than everything being purple. Like, that works as well. Go up here. Go on, just hit the green. There we go. If that hit the fairway just in front, we'd have been in trouble. Take that. Okay. Second hole. Strong par four. So now we're going downhill. I like that there's no fairway bunkering here. That feels authentic. No fairway bunkering anywhere. Just got just the land movement is all we need here. Looks great. Oh, you have that kind of shared bunker, which is also a cool feature. Oh, I might have gone too far right there. Oh, a little bit moundy. I like this a lot. I was hoping people were going to do little holes like this or playing over these little mounds and ridges and buying into those is um one of the courses i based this on this plot on a lot was um utrecht de pan in the netherlands butchering the pronunciation i'm sure um but that has some really cool stuff um in terms of like holes with 
like heathery mounds and some gorse and things like that. Oh, it was close. Just didn't commit. Uh, okay. Wow. <laughs> That's the worst part I've ever missed. Oops. Okay, and then three kind of got a Sunningdale. Is it Sunningdale 10 that plays over this kind of waste bunkery thing? That's cool. Yeah, this looks great. I love way, the way this one. 11. Thank you. Oh, of course, 10 is that downhill tee shot with the cross bunkers, isn't it? Oh, no. That's not it. And now I've got very little angle. Green running away from me. Okay. This is fine. I'm just going to play to here. Two part and then we'll make it back up. I love what you've done with the T down here as well. Like this is a low key good thing. Like the way this T box plays in with this green is great. And it doesn't suck now. Oh, okay. Yeah, you don't need it. Like, works really well. It is really cool now. I think you maybe could have varied your grasses just a little more. Um, but I don't have any major critiques. I love this green. Just the simplicity of the shape and the fact that it's taken away from the bunker a bit more is good. Uh, okay. Yeah, and honestly, often that is the way. Oh, I did not realise the lamb was this undulating. That's cool. This is really good. Okay. Um, I think here. Dreadful part again. And honestly, I've said it on a number of videos, but like we really wanted people to get the idea that ripping up holes is a good thing. So like the fact that you've picked that up is great. Um, I might have been tempted to widen your fairway this side if we're saying like, this is your shorter shot. Because I would have considered laying up left more. No, I mean, this looks great, by the way. Like, this bunkering and layering is awesome. I think occasionally you can overdo this little slope into the green as well, but minor critiques. Uh, slow is not what we wanted. Still, heart of the green's fine. Cool green site again. It's been so, so cool to see people find, like, amazing holes on this plot. And just, like, create stuff where it's just like, if I'd done this, I'm sure I'd have done something okay, but I don't know if I'd have done anything as good as some of these. Like, because contests, you properly take your time on things, and you rethink, and you had people giving you feedback, and, like, they're really good. This is a great look as well. I might like a little bit more fairway short or like not tuck behind this bunker quite so much, but minor. Love the kind of cauldron like effect. Ah, that's just not a good shot. Ooh. Oh no, this is not it. <laughs> That's fine. We like cauldrons. I knew Matty might like that reference. 
Mm, not the pot. <coughs> okay, so now we have a bit more of a hog's backy sort of slope. Long path four. I may have just given a little more fairway up here. It looks so good from the tee, though. See, hazard. Yeah, because we're kind of taking away... I, I think if you're letting people play out to the high side, they're then taking away that option for the ground game with this bunker. <laughs> I know, right? Awesome, awesome course. Oh, well, there's a lie. <laughs> we went this way, didn't we? And maybe roll down the slope. And then off. I do not. I do not. Don't worry. If you hit in a hazard... <laughs> We'll make it. We'll make a bar without even touching the green. No, it's fine. I saw the lie-ish. It's a cool path three as well. I like that you've gone with an elevator, a raised. Like this does not look twenty-one feet up, and yet this is an awesome way to use this bit of land. Hmm. Take that. That's all right. Okay, now we play down. Oh, this is fun. All right, we'll move somewhere out here, and we will have no angle around the trees. But that's okay. Yeah, this is. Oh, what's the? There's a hole on Sunningdale that does this sort of bunkering string. can't remember. Might be 16. Yeah. 16 old. Good memory from me. Take that. Mm. That'll do nicely as well. Need to stop fast forwarding. And yeah, cool view down 10 as well that we see there. And 10 is just a mess of bunkers. Okay, so we have to play down this way. Uh, not off the top of my head. Okay, uh, lob wet. Ooh, pretty much perfect. Oh, I've never played West Hill, so that'll be why. Never played Sunningdale either, but I did scout that a load. I like this a lot. Yeah, I think occasionally angles can get a little too severe on the sides of greens, but that's certainly something I've done. So I'm not, like, it's a minor point. It's more that it's been a repeated thing. of like, it's quite hard to work those angles. Oh, thank you, Dario. That's appreciated. You just missed, uh, I just played yours second time through. The first time was an abomination of tempo. Um, but it was awesome. Really enjoyed it. Again, lays out really well. That front bunker is doing a lot of heavy lifting. I love that kind of bunkering where it's like way short of the green, but just breaks up that empty empty land a little bit. Oh, cheers, buddy. Also, I finally saw your message on Twitter, so I've dropped you a reply there. Um, hope all is well with you, and we'll catch up soon.
Come on, come on in, come on in. Ah, not quite. Again, bunkering like awesome. Ooh, okay. I feel someone else had a whole sort of here, but I can't remember where, who, or which. Maybe Petty? I don't remember. I might have wanted a bit more fairway. He says missing a classic. Yeah, maybe a little bit more fairway. Especially as, again, the green kind of goes away from you. It would be quite nice to throw people all the way. Ugh. Yeah, little things. I mean, bloody hell, for a first course, this is the best one I can remember playing ever, and it's not even close. I mean, granted, it's not really a first course. Yeah, I've played that very badly. <laughs> okay, I like the long par four. Yeah, and it's probably it's probably also just like it is the first one with eighteen holes. I think partly it's also just a you getting used to you need that feedback of just like yeah this is a bit so like this one I'd say is a little narrow on this side as well because I think we're but then you don't really want to challenge these bunkers you do want to play that on this side so yeah we're okay with this this one's fine. You kind of just need those reps of like getting through courses so that you get that feedback and you watch it go on tour and you realize like oh yeah I might want to tweak that or that and then eventually you stop caring about all of that and you just make whatever the hell you want come on turn in no it's just not enough pace like little clumps of planting down here look really good as well I like that you haven't put grasses everywhere definitely it will, yeah, at a certain point you just got to let it go and like something is better than nothing. This is interesting, different. I feel like for balance, I would love just a little bunker or something there, just purely for visual balance or more heather. I just a little more on the left hand side would help me visually. But again, I love the hole you found. It's very different. These two, like, these three bunkers are perfect. Oh, did you? No. Eh. It wouldn't have made a difference, really, in terms of... It's just visually, I think it would pop that a little bit more. Ugh. And I think, just sculpting-wise, back... Oh, I wouldn't put a massive one. It was just, just a tiny little one. I think one other thing you will want to learn is just how to do these drop-offs. So you want it being super steep around about here and then flattening out more um, rather than going straight down here because it just gets stuck on the fringe and it just doesn't quite do what you want it to. But like minor nitpicks. Okay, yeah, especially if you had a massive bunker here. See here I'd probably be wanting to see a little bit more fairway between the two, but I'm I'm okay with it. Partly the blackness doesn't help. Like you could have tried opening trees up a little bit too. Like one thing I'll typically do is try and clear. Yeah, for sure. Oh, you don't need to. You don't need to vendor. Don't worry, Maddie. We got this. Um, but yeah, like one thing you might want to try and do is your tree shadows when they go across heather. So I'm getting Dr. Jones to do quite a bit of this. Is move them so they're kind of in the line of the lighting. Like if you put multiple trees in that line, it will look thicker this way but not this way and that clears up a lot of the shadows and particularly across bunkers I, I'd be clearing all of this so that you get the heather in the sunlight as much as possible this is wild I don't know what we're going to do here I, I mean go for it obviously but can you get over there oh it did no it didn't huh some tree that goes right through that um, I mean not complaining that worked out 
I'll take that. Oh yeah, love that hole. <laughs> oh, well, I didn't deserve it anyway, but we'll take back to even. Another really good looking par three. I right. visually just this. It's really cool to see how like. So I remember doing Wickham and at the time thinking that planting was really, really good. And I look at this and I'm just like, yeah, I could have done it so much better. Same with Scottishes, just like, and Petties, like all of them really coming out on this. Just like, yeah, they're way better than what I did there. We like helpful trees. Go on. Oh, I've under hit that. Back to one over. Yeah, I was hoping I was hoping people would use this green side from different angles. Like, there was always something here. Definitely. Mm, possibly. Oh. There's an interesting waypoint thing. I don't know what's gone on there. You know what? The layout's not going to be too bad. We will take this. Oh, I just need a little bit further. Cool. We'll take that as well. And we finish on 18. Okay. Little hog specky. Okay, like this a lot. Uh, don't yank it into the bunker. Really want us to hit this approach. Ooh. And we just about will go. Okay. Um, <laughs> how far left is this one going to go? That far left. Excellent. <laughs> you just can't tell, can you? That'll do. It's fine. It's a thing. Ah, I'm looking forward to playing this one better later on. There we go. I mean, yeah. Didn't say enough, but like, I really enjoyed that. There's very little for me to nitpick. I tried to give you a few things, um, just because with the first publish, you'd want to take a few bits of feedback. Um, just occasional over-angling the greens and a bit more width of fairway and... Layup areas is always going to be helpful, but like visually, that's class. Plays really well, very well balanced. Can tell that you spent a ton of time like batting ideas back and forth, and like it just it shows. Did it awesome, um, and like this, this is why we wanted to take a chance on like people who we knew could do really good things, and like why we wanted to push you to put, put our course because we knew this is there, and like. Yeah, just just goes to show like great courses come from anyone who who like pays attention, takes time, really studies. Like you can get to this level so so quickly. Um, so yeah, awesome awesome stuff. Um, I am gonna have fun ranking these five courses. They're really really good, and it's gonna be difficult. But I am very much looking forward to it. So thank you for all five of you guys for giving me some really good stuff to go and play away. Um, so yeah, that's gonna be me done for now. Um, I might do some streams later this